I welcome to your yin practice, a practice of introspection, of connection, and of slowing down. For today's class, I'd suggest a block or blocks, a blanket, a bolster, anything that you need that will help bring the surface up towards you. So we'll begin straight away in frog pose. Grabbing your prop as necessary, stepping the feet nice and wide, and bringing those hips low down to the mat. Bring the hands to heart center. Begin to settle into your shape. The targeted area is the inner groin and the outer thigh. but it's not limited to that area. So you may feel sensations through your feet, through the broadness of your back. You begin to inquire where we're feeling sensation in and throughout our body. Allow for gravity to pull the tension away from the neck, deepen you into your shape. As you hold your posture for time, you may notice you can come to a deeper depth. So if that's the case for you, you'll remove your props as necessary, and then settle yourself back in to your posture. You want to arrive at a moderate to mildly intense sensation. Enough where you can feel like the body and the cells are adapting and adjusting according to the load you're placing upon it. We begin to bring our attention inward as we focus our attention on the sensations that are germinating within the body. And these long breaks of silence allow for you to observe your experience. As intense or as mild, as pleasant or as unpleasant. And we practice being with what is. about 10 more cycles of breath. Continuing with that idea of slowing our pace You'll bring the fingertips down, come to a forward fold, toe, heel your feet as wide as needed. Bring the hands to interlace at the elbows or behind the nape of the head. And allow the spine to drape 
as it falls heavy out of the pelvis. This sends a nice flush of blood through the lower joints of the body, moving and clearing any stagnation that may be residing in those little nooks and crannies. We settle back into our shape where we hold for an extended period of time. This time allows for gravity to pull the tension out of the body. Bringing our attention to the sensations you feel and starting the process of labeling those sensations. Achy, dull, burning, yearning. Then notice the thoughts that accompany those sensations. And begin to label those thoughts. Irritation, frustration, agitation, pleasant, alive. We'll be here for about 10 more breaths. Slow the urge to rush out. Bring the fingertips down. Bring the knees down. Come into an embryo pose where the forehead grounds down and the arms rest heavy by your hips. A nice deep fold in your hip flexors, rounding through the back. Settling into one's body. And one's experience of the breath as we hold the shape. Label your sensations. Notice the thoughts and the feelings that this shape surfaces. And begin to label those thoughts and feelings. And how do they differ? if they differ from the previous two poses. Allow gravity to pull the tension away from the body.
increase the surface area of the breath. About 10 cycles. Staying with your transition, you'll slowly begin to make your way out of your embryo pose. If you have a blanket, take your blanket, and fold it as many times as needed. We're gonna lay the belly on the blanket as we come all the way down to the mat. Sphinx pose. Placing that belly in between the navel and the pubic bone. Helps to bring some space to the low back and some relief to the kidneys and the adrenal area. The low belly expands out. A nice extension through the thoracic spine. You can drop the chin down towards the mat or keep the head elevated. If you're looking for more sensation, straighten through the palms, straighten the arms, with the strong columns of the arms to allow the heart to fall through. Gravity is drawing the sternum closer. And the pillars of the arms are resisting that pull from gravity. to your stillness. Observe and label your experience in this shape. beauties about yin practice is we create the space to slow down. To mindfully slow our pace, to pay attention enough to our inner state. how we're relating to our breath, how we're relating to the adaptations of our cells and our tissues. How we're interpreting our experience. For me, it's a struggle to slow down, to slit, sit down and look within. So carving out this time, this ritual to practice. We 
maybe develop a ritual around this slowing down. Bringing some significance and meaning. About 10 breaths. slowly lower down to your sphinx. You're going to turn on to your side body. You're going to lay on your side. The head can come to rest on the bicep, can rest on a log. Extending the top leg out bending the knee, and I'm gonna grab for my outer edge of the foot, and then re-extend the top leg. You might have enough sensation just extending that leg out without taking a hold of the foot. If the blanket doesn't feel good or comfortable underneath, The mid belly, remove the blanket. We're creating a nice opening from the back of the skull right behind the nasal cavity, to the top of the spine. Begin all the way down that back long Spinal column, rounding around through the back of the hips and the pelvis, and out through the leg. And come back to labeling your sensations. How do these sensations feel different than the previous posture? And what feelings or thoughts are linked to those sensations? exercise the denser tissues of the body, our connective tissues, our fascia, our tendons. About 10 cycles of breath. slowly release the leg. Roll back onto your belly. 
Forehead rests on the palm or on the block. Compare and contrast the sides of the body. And then slowly, deliberately make your way in. And on to your opposite side. Block or forehead on the bicep. The top leg is going to extend forward. I'm going to reach around for the edge of my foot. Take what's appropriate for your body. And then how quickly can you settle yourself back in? Cultivating that presence of mind. How does this side differ from the previous? How can gravity pull tension away from the body? What feelings, thoughts, and emotions are getting stirred up? label and let go. About 10 breaths here. Very slowly, you release the foot if you have a hold of it. Roll back onto your belly. Forehead can rest on the block, on your forearms. Allow gravity to pull the tension away from the spine. Let it slide down your rib cage, slide down the outer legs, outer shoulders, and drip onto the earth. And slowly you'll begin to make your way up. Slide your blanket or your prop out from underneath you. We'll make our way into pigeon pose. The right leg will come forward. You can bend through the left knee, choose to straighten it out. Our targeted area is the outer right hip. I'm going to use the blanket to rest my head upon as I slowly come down into pigeon pose.
Now hold where you feel moderate. Sensations bordering on the line of mild intensity. Take the left arm underneath the right for thread the needle and then bring my cheek down to the mat or down to my pillow, resting the head and slightly rolling the weight over to the left leg. thoughts, feelings, emotions. Of this shape. Becoming more aware and clear. Of the relationship you have with those thoughts, feelings, and emotions. About ten breaths here. Very slowly roll the weight on to the right hip and wind the arm. You'll draw the left knee in a little closer. Reposition yourself. If you like to grab your blanket, you can come behind the low back. We're moving into half hero's pose, lowering all the way down to the mat or to the forearms. Support the lower back as needed. Support the knees and the heart as needed. sensations the most intense? Where is their lack of sensation? Label the thoughts, the feelings, and the emotions that are germinating as you hold your shape. 
practice slowing down. Practice of slowing down is like a ritual. We can infuse our moment with significance and meaning. about 10 breaths. care, begin to slowly make your way out. Take the left foot, slide it around. Butterfly pose. I'm going to come to sit on my blanket. You can remove the blanket or bring it to a height that's appropriate for you. Then hinge forward and settle into stillness. Do you feel sensations globally throughout the body? Or are those sensations delegated to a certain spot? If it's delegated to a certain spot, observe what thoughts, feelings, and emotions are linked to those strong sensations. about 10 breaths. Very slowly begin to make your way out. 
come off of your blanket or your prop. Pigeon pose. The right leg will extend back, left leg forward. Come down to your pigeon and thread the needle. The right arm is going to come underneath. I'm going to slide a little bit of weight over onto my right leg. That helps pull the tissues long on the left side body and settle in. And if there's more tender spots, nurture yourself. No need to force it a little deeper, just soften around its edges. Acknowledge that it's there. Practice the ritual of slowing down. Bringing significance, a conscious awareness, that connection you're making to your body, the connection you're making to your spirit, to the powerful tool of your mind. about 10 breaths. Very slowly begin to unwind the arm. Bring the back leg forward. Prop up as needed as we move into hero's pose. So first stop, you may come to forearms maybe with palms flat, arms straight. Or you might be able to make your way all the way down. We're not forcing any posture. We're practicing opening up to our experience. Observing and labeling what our experience has to offer us. In the moment, 
to offer our experience. has a tendency to drift away. Get lost in fantasies, plans, to-dos. Just gently and slowly bring our attention back. Grounded into those sensations and start the process of labeling sensations, the thoughts and the feelings that are linked to them. About 10 breaths. slowly begin to make your way out. We'll extend both legs straight out in front of you. Come to lay on your back. Spinal twist. Come up onto the right hip, bring the left leg over. You can grab for the foot again, or just extend the leg out straight. Open your arms to a T, send the gaze to the back palm, and allow gravity to pull any tension out of the body. About 10 breaths. Release the foot if you have a hold of the foot. Come up into your forearm or straighten through the bottom arm. 
Bring the shoulder up towards the ear. The legs can stay straight. Out, they can bend slightly. The targeted area is the left side body. So the base of the rib begins to open up towards the mat. We increase the distance between the pelvis and the shoulder. Maybe ear falls towards the shoulder or the top arm reaches behind you. Find a variation of the arms that feels good, that continues to stoke that adaptation of the cells through a very variety of sensations. connection, slow down to infuse our experience with significance, our beliefs, About 10 breaths. Very slowly, you'll make your way all the way back down. I'm gonna switch over sides just for demonstration purposes. Going to lay down onto my back. Supine twist. Take a hold of the foot or grab for the leg. Tee out the arms and gaze to the palm behind you. Feel the tension, the strain. anxieties or stress drip out of the body. connecting. It's distracting you from your experience. Gently bring yourself back. About 10 breaths.
Release your grip. Bend that leg back. Come onto the forearm or straighten out through the bottom arm. Targeted area is the undercarriage, the side body. All those tissues in between the rib cage, underneath the scapula, on top of the deltoid, get a nice lengthening. We continue to practice slowing down. This practice of slowing down calms us down, calms our anxieties, calms our restless energy, all which help us become more present, more receptive and open. Attributes that we can carry off of our mat and into our daily lives. We're here for about 10 cycles. slowly come out. You're going to make your way onto your back. Knees will come in. Hold on to the tops of the shins. A gentle happy baby. Rocking hips. Rolling from outer shoulder to outer shoulder. Bringing the legs down, the arms down for final Shavasana. The peak of our practice. task is to observe, to label, to release. Stay in your final Shavasana for as long as your moments allow. With light, love, gratitude, and grace, namaste. No